Next thing he did, he uh, discovered the sunspots on the sun, and he realized that they are moving. And from that fact, he concluded that the sun itself must be rotating. Just like the Earth is spinning around its axis, so is the sun. Now, of course, uh, he did not look at the sun uh, through the telescope. I mean, he would go blind. I mean, he ended up being blind uh, near the end of his life, but it was probably the case, like with uh, age, people develop cataracts. Uh, there are uh, 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 spots that develop on the lens, right? This turns out that uh, you know, in the case of human skin, the young cells start in the deep, and then they migrate to the surface, and the old cells, they are being essentially shed off. But in the case of the eye lens, the new cells are formed at the edge, and they propagate towards the middle. And once you have enough of them, that obstructs the vision, and that their number increases with age, and those are that that is that condition is called cataract. So he probably uh, wasn't blind blind. He just had the bad cataract, so that he couldn't see. But what he did, what you can do actually to to see the sunspots uh, uh, using the telescope, you take the telescope, right? It uh, gathers the light, and then you project that light on a sheet of paper. So you don't look at the sunlight with your eyes. You just project it on the sheet of paper. And there on that sheet, you can see the bright disk and these dark spots that he uh, uh, observed to be moving across the disk of, of the sun. Um, OK, so he concluded correctly that the sun itself is spinning, and it takes about one month. Different points on the surface of the sun complete one full rotation in slightly different times. The points closer to the equator actually move, fa move faster, but it's basically once in a month. Uh, 